To be part of the health research community in this province is an amazing thing. The Nova Scotia Health Research Foundation is an arm's length organization that's funded by the government of Nova Scotia. We exist to improve the health of Nova Scotians through research. So it's if we have questions that we need answered, we'll uh, design programs to have research conducted into whatever the specific issue is. Or if we have challenges in the province and we know research exists elsewhere, it's our job to put that research together in a, a specific way that makes sense to people who have to make decisions. It's extremely important to have good evidence on which we can um, formulate our, our public policy um, and they give us the, they give us the information and, and the tools really to know what kinds of efforts are helpful and what kinds of efforts aren't as helpful and um, you know use our resources wisely. We really believe a community approach is necessary so we have a health research community here in the province that consists of uh, obviously the researchers who do the work, uh, people who need to use the evidence, uh, government who needs to support it and they of course are also users of the evidence. I have an NSHRF grant that's a community-based community, a community research grant where we've actually partnered with members of the community. In our case the community is continuing care settings. So we've partnered with three long-term care settings in the eastern shore of Nova Scotia where we're looking at oral care and mouth care within the continuing care setting. One of the ways that we know that our research is having an impact is by involving end users in the formulation of research questions but also in the research itself. So for example, one of our projects in continuing care, by involving the end user, the, the, the actual caregiver, we get instant feedback from them as we roll out research ideas, they, they tell us directly whether or not these ideas are going to work for them. A lot of what we've been doing has been creating awareness about the importance of oral health to general health and creating an awareness amongst people off the, on the street as well as, as high level policy makers in government. By understanding that better, it's our hope to galvanize the, the, the notion that more services are needed or different ways of thinking about models of service delivery. NSHRF really has spearheaded this work that has really, I think, helped us to be leaders in oral health research for older adults in, in the country. Without that initial investment in us, I really don't know how we would have gotten off the ground. We really are sort of the poster child. We followed all the steps that they wanted us to follow, that they anticipated we needed to do to be able to get national funding and you know now we're uh, you know nationally recognized as one of the leaders in seniors oral health care research. Research projects that we have funded will grow into research programs and research programs will be multiple projects and teams and will be part of networks and they will be funded nationally and internationally. So we really do focus on that catalytic kind of effect um, here at the foundation. When I was looking at physicians across the country, uh, coming to Nova Scotia had a major appeal to it because of the existence of foundations like the Nova Scotia Health Research Foundation where you know, it implied that the provincial government is actually investing money into health research. Our primary um, goal in my lab is to understand how a class of molecules found in your body, so called proteins, which is one of the major types of molecules in your body, we want to understand how they uh, function. Everything we do really involves creativity because what we're always trying to do is find the next the new thing. Because of the funding that the Nova Scotia Health Research Foundation has given me, I've really been able to focus more on my PhD work. My area of study really is what I would call maybe implementation research. It, what it really involves is studying how we can take innovations in healthcare, new ideas, new tools, new knowledge that we have in healthcare, and how we can really integrate that knowledge, seamlessly integrate that knowledge um, into practice. We can definitely encourage researchers to come to the province because we're demonstrating that the provincial government is willing to support health research and puts value in supporting health research. And to me, that's a really, uh, really important 
statement for the province to make. I think the average Nova Scotian, uh, they benefit by having a very healthy and vibrant health research community because we know that uh, high quality clinicians are attracted to a research rich environment so uh, they're directly going to get uh, better care just simply by having that, that, that active research community, uh, access to the latest and greatest.